Welcome to our webinar on decentralised ventilation. My name is Sam Partridge. I'm the UK Product Manager for Stiebel Altron, and I'll be joined today by my colleague Matt Fitzpatrick, our UK trainer. We're going to talk you through the Stiebel Altron decentralised ventilation offering, the VLR 70L Trend EU. Today we're going to take a look at our decentralised ventilation unit, the VLR 70L Trend EU. In this webinar, we will cover the following benefits of ventilation and how it can improve your home or workplace, an overview of the product and accessories, how to specify the VLR Trend L70 EU, and what type of property it's suitable for. We also take a look at installation methods and processes the electrical connections and how to connect multiple units with the controller. Finally, we will discuss how to commission the decentralised system when it's been installed. Our bodies require up to 15,000 litres of air per day. Ventilation allows us to improve the quality of the air we breathe in our homes and places of work. Around 50% of the UK population report hay fever symptoms and 12% suffer from asthma. Dust, pollen and pet dander are only a few allergens which are present in the home. Mould and mildew can be caused by excess humidity throughout the property, causing mould spores to become airborne. Just one of these factors could reduce your indoor air quality. Imagine if you had multiple factors. Places of work or even in our own homes, we can build up concentrated levels of CO2, which can have negative effects on our health. Acceptable levels of CO2 within the air we breathe are up to 800 ppm. Once we reach a critical threshold of 1000 ppm, we start to notice negative symptoms, such as drowsiness and unpleasant odours. If we double that to 2000 ppm, we may start to experience headache, problems with concentration and lack of attention, increased heart rate, and even mild nausea. 5,000 ppm are the maximum permissible occupational exposure limits. These negative symptoms are why it's so important to keep the CO2 levels in the air we breathe to a minimum level to promote good cognitive ability, reduce tiredness and fatigue, and make a pleasant, safe environment to work and live. Only installers who are registered with a competent person scheme can self-certify that their work complies with building regulations. Where necessary, they will tell your local authority about the work for you. You will receive a certificate from them within 30 days of completion of the work. This will confirm that the work complies with the building regulations. The certificate will also show up in the property searches if you sell your home. If you don't receive a certificate within 30 days of completion, the competent person scheme operator that your installer is registered with should be able to help. We have over 4 million social housing properties in the UK, some in areas of fuel poverty, in some situations, the tenant may be reluctant to open the windows or ventilate the property. If their only source of ventilation is opening a window, this will allow heat in the property to be lost. Decentralised mechanical ventilation with heat recovery provides a solution. Simple to retrofit in the property with minimal disruption to the tenants. With up to 89% heat recovery, the tenant has a supply of fresh air without the heat loss of opening the windows. In such conditions, humidity can increase to higher levels and cause mould to build up and grow, with spores becoming airborne. It's estimated that around 3.4 million properties in the UK fail to meet the de decent home standard. Improving insulation and EPC standards of rental properties including internal or external insulation, upgrading windows and doors, could mean the property now must meet part F of the building regulations. Centralised mechanical ventilation with heat recovery can prove 
difficult to install due to the ducting, existing structural challenges and central location for the centralised unit. VLR 70L Trend DU is designed to be installed in existing properties with a versatile placement and a single control panel. Product overview. Let's take a look at the decentralized ventilation unit VLR 70 L Trend EU with up to 89% heat recovery. Quiet operation between 36 and 53 decibels, operating on 24 volt power. The unit has five fan speeds between 20 cubic meters per hour and 70 meters cubed per hour on purge setting. The unit is easy to install and up to eight units can be connected on one controller. The VLR 70 L Trend EU features an aluminium heat exchanger and gives you two operation modes, push pull and summer bypass mode. The unit is flexible in installation, suitable for wall thicknesses of between 300 and 550 millimeters. Let's talk about the decentralized ventilation unit VLR 70L Trend DU in push pull operation mode. These units work in pairs while one is pushing warm stale air out of the property, the other pulls in cooler, fresh air. When the unit is pushing air out of the property, it's transported across the aluminium heat exchanger, which charges with that heat energy. So when the fan direction is reversed and the unit starts to pull air from outside, it can pick up that heat energy and release it back into the property with 89% efficiency. The diagrams below show how two units work in opposite push and pull to charge the heat exchanger, which gives the product its unique heat recovery feature. As you can see, when air is taken from the outside, it picks up heat energy from the warm, stale air that was released from the property so that the heat is recovered. This slide shows the differences in the two operational modes on the VLR 70 L Trend EU. Firstly, differential ventilation mode or push pull mode takes air in and out of the property in a 70 second cycle, pushing air out and pulling air in, whilst retaining 89% efficiency on heat recovery. On the flip side, we have cross ventilation mode, which pulls air through one unit and pushes air through the other out into the atmosphere. This cross ventilation is great for summer nights, offering passive cooling effect using that cooler summer evening air without having to open windows. This slide breaks down some of the key features and benefits of the VLR 70 L Trend DU. The internal cover, which can be closed when there is excess external noise, also offers tool free access to the filters within the system. There are two filters within the VLR70L Trend EU. 
The filter on the internal side, as standard, is rated as F7 and can be easily replaced with no tool required, as can the G2 filter, which comes as standard on the external side of the unit. These offer very high levels of indoor air quality, but can be in upgraded to improve this even further to G4 and F9 levels. The aluminium heat exchanger within the unit can be accessed by simply unscrewing two screws on the body of the unit. This can then easily be cleaned at maintenance intervals. The exterior stainless steel powder coated unit is watertight and protects against heavy rain. And the unit is suitable for wall depths of 300 to 550 millimeters. The aluminium heat exchanger is one of the unique features of the VLR 70 L Trend EU, with efficiency levels of up to 89% heat recovery. It also recovers humidity and is rust resistant. The heat exchanger is easy to clean. Simply place under running water. Compared with other heat exchanger materials such as ceramic, aluminium offers a hygienic surface, less likely for bacteria to grow on. This table shows some of the filtration levels that can be achieved with the filters of the VLR70 L Trend EU. For example, the F7 internal filter supplied as standard, which removes 65 to 80% of bacterial, fungal, mold spores, pollen, toner, and dust. Upgrade that to an F9 filter, and 95% of these particles can be emitted. Even small particles, virus, nanoparticles, exhaust gases with a standard filter can be reduced by 50 to 65 percent and with an F9 filter be reduced by 80 percent. These fantastic filtration levels offer great indoor air quality. VLR 70 L Trend EU has three different control options depending on the number of units required in the property. Up to two units, the transformer is housed in a double back box at the point of the control. For four and eight units, the controls need the transformer on the DIN rail. Separate circuits can be set up if more than eight units are required. Each ventilation installation can be slightly different which is why we offer a wide range of accessories for the VLR70 L Trend EU. Whether it be filter upgrades, internal or external side to improve indoor air quality even further, or if the property has a particular problem with moisture, we offer a humidity sensor to fit into the system. Or perfect for HMOs, we also offer a CO2 sensor to ensure CO2 levels are kept to a minimum. To help you specify our VLR 70L Trend EU products, we have created a ventilation tool for our toolbox. First, you will need to enter the information about the property. Entering the square meterage of the area will determine how many fan units are needed. Our next stage is to enter how many occupants. Our toolbox pre-selects four. Enter the exact number to ensure the correct amount of fan units appears on the next page. Now we've entered the property details, we will select our ventilation system. Our decentralised MVHR is shown under the category Single Room Ventilation. Now that we have entered the information, 
we can add the rooms. The VLR70L Trend EU cannot be used in kitchens, bathrooms or wet rooms. Choose from the list of rooms, for example, bedroom, children's bedroom, living area, office or any of the other rooms in the list. You can add overflow areas such as stairways, floor areas or hallways. Once the ground floor is complete and you have selected the rooms, complete the same process for the second floor. Once all the rooms have been added, you can then select the room and make changes to how many meters cubed an hour is required or how many fan units you plan to install in that room. When you've created your design, move to the final stage. On the toolbar, you can find the floor plans tab. In this section, you can upload existing floor plans or building plans. Once the plans have been uploaded, our software allows you to integrate our VLR70L Trend EU fan units into your existing drawing. If you are planning on installing or have already installed a Stiebel Ultron heat pump, you can use our heat pump tool on the toolbox. In the heat pump tool, you can calculate the costs of running a decentralized MVHR system with a heat pump, as well as showing how many kilowatt hours can be saved with the installation of decentralized MVHR. Now we've covered the benefits of ventilation, the product overview, and how to specify the product. We will look at how to install the units. We have prepared an installation video.
if installing two units in differential mode or in different rooms, allow for suitably sized air apertures to ensure circulation. The VLR70L Trend EU can only be installed with external walls and cannot be connected to ducting or ventilation shafts. When installing the fan unit in a basement, the fan unit must be above ground level. We would recommend installing the appliance next to windows at lintel height. Each VLR70L Trend EU fan unit requires a minimum of 350 millimeters between the internal panel and any furniture in the property. You must always ensure there is enough clearance to remove the fan and filter cassette through the front of the fan unit. Ensure a clearance of 100 millimeters from all sides of the external panel. If you have installed two VLR70L Trend EU fan units in the same room, you must ensure there is a minimum clearance between each fan unit. This can be seen on the screen of our webinar. It is also found in the installation manual. The VLR70L Trend EU fan unit has a length of 580 millimeters. If this needs to be reduced for your property, you can cut the duct down to size, but we advise a minimum length of 300 millimeters. Whenever installing the VLR70L Trend EU through the external wall, always leave a three degree angle. This allows for any condensate to drain out the external vents. You can pair up to eight VLR70L Trend EU fan units to one controller. We have created three kits to simplify the process. Our first kit is for two fan units and a controller. This contains one double back box, which can be sunken into the wall for a flush fit and house the VLR control interface and the 230 volt AC to 24 volt DC transformer. This provides a clean and simple installation. You will need to connect your 230 volt AC to 24 volt DC transformer to a 230 volt supply. Once this has been done, you can take your 24 volt DC supply and connect to the terminals R1 and R2 of the controller. Fan 1 must be connected to R7 of the controller and fan 2 to R8. This provides the push and pull signal to each fan unit. Terminals 1, 2 and 3 must then be connected to fan 1 and fan 2 to R3, R4 and R5 on the controller. If you require more than two VLR70L Trend EU fan units, we offer a kit with four fan units, a single back box, 230 volt AC to 24 volt DC transformer and the control interface. The 24 volt transformer must be mounted in the consumer unit and will take up the space of three MCBs on the DIN rail. When installing four fan units, you will need to bring a 230 volt supply to your 230 volt AC to 24 volt DC transformer and a 24 volt DC supply from the transformer to terminals R1 and R2. As we have four units, they will now be placed in pairs. Fans one and two 
will be connected to the same output, R7. Fans 3 and 4 will be connected to R8. And then terminals 1, 2 and 3 from each fan are connected to the controller terminals R3, R4 and R5. Final kit is for 8 VLR70L Trend EU fan units. Very similar to our 4 fan kit, we have a single back box, controls interface and a 230 volt AC to 24 volt DC transformer, which must be mounted on a DIN rail and may take up the space of up to 4 MCBs. When you have installed the back box, the 230 volt AC to DC transformer and connected the fan units back to the VLR control interface, the next stage is to connect the PCB. This will be installed on the main controller and pushes into place. It can only be installed one way. You must take care when installing the PCB, make sure the pins are lined up and then gently push the PCB onto the controls interface. We shall now look at the electrical ratings. The power consumption per fan unit is between 2 or 12 watts, depending on fan speed and purge operation. And the maximum current is 0.5 amp. If you wish to pair the fan unit in odd numbers, this can be done. If we look at five fan units, you will need to wire two fan units to fan terminal one and the remaining three to fan terminal two to ensure you still have push pull operation. You do have the option to add external switches. These could be CO2 sensors or humidity sensors. When installing either of these switches, you would need to select the operating mode and the fan speed of which the VLR70L Trend EU fan units will switch to when the external switch is in operation. We have included some external switching examples below. You can see the CO2 sensor and the humidity sensor are both connected to fan speed 3. This means if we see higher levels of humidity, the humidity sensor will increase the fan speed to speed 3. And when the humidity levels drop below the set level, the fan speed will reduce to its previously commissioned setting. This is our purge operation mode. Our final section in the VLR70 L Trend EU webinar is commissioning. On the screen, we can see our VLR controls interface. The controller is split into operating modes and fan speeds. On the left hand side, we have two buttons. The top left hand button is for differential ventilation. This is our push pull operating mode. And below that button, we have our cross ventilation mode. This is summer operation. It allows the fan units to bypass the plate heat exchanges and bring cool, fresh air in during summer evenings. On the lower half of the controller, we have a service indicator and a filter indicator light. These can illuminate if the filters need changing or the fan unit needs servicing. And finally, on the right hand side, we have a fan up speed button and a fan down speed button with corresponding 
fan speed indicator lights to the left hand side showing fan speed one two and three during our first startup or commissioning we will need to select the number of fan units connected to the controller to do so press and hold the four buttons on the control panel for more than five seconds until two operating mode indicators flash. Our next stage is to use the fan speed up or down buttons to set the number of fan units connected to our controller. Looking at the diagram on the right hand side of the screen, it will use the filter indicator light and also fan speed one depending on how many fan units you select. Once you've entered the correct amount of fan units, press the differential mode and cross ventilation buttons simultaneously for at least three seconds. All indicator lights will light up briefly and the programming is complete. Now we have selected the correct number of fans and commissioned our system, we will take a more in-depth look at our fan speed settings. Fan speed one, ventilation for humidity protection. This is necessary ventilation to ensure that the building structure is protected under normal conditions of use with somewhat reduced moisture loads. Fan speed two, reduced ventilation. Reduced ventilation is the ventilation necessary to meet hygiene standards and ensure protection of the building structure. Under standard conditions of use with partial or reduced moisture and pollutant loads. Fan speed three, standard ventilation. Standard ventilation is the ventilation necessary to meet hygiene standards and ensure protection of the building structure when occupants are present. Fan speed one and three is reference airflow rate. If the airflow rate is 70% of the maximum airflow rate, you can only switch on this fan stage. If the reference airflow rate is enabled, this fan stage can only be switched via the programming unit, unfortunately not via the switch inputs. Intensive ventilation can be selected on fan speed 1, 2 or 3. This is our purge operation. Intensive ventilation is increased ventilation with a higher flow rate to reduce load peaks, for example rapid ventilation during or after a party, intensive ventilation ends automatically after the time that you have set. This can be programmed on the controller ranging from 15 minutes to 90 minutes. To activate intensive ventilation operating mode, you will need to press and hold the fan speed up button. For three seconds. When the mode is active, fan stage lights one, two, and three will illuminate. If you wish to make any changes to the time settings for intensive ventilation, this must be done when intensive ventilation mode is active. Press and hold the differential mode and cross ventilation mode buttons simultaneously. For at least three seconds. The differential mode and cross ventilation mode indicators will illuminate. Then use fan speed up and down buttons to change the time period. Once you've selected the correct time period, press and hold both differential mode and cross ventilation mode buttons simultaneously for at least three seconds to save your current settings. Enabling and disabling the reference airflow rate. This is a factory 
default setting of enabled. If you wish to check that it is still enabled or to disable it, you must press and hold the up fan speed button for five seconds and the differential mode and cross ventilation mode lights will flash alternatively. Set the mode by using the up and down buttons and then press and hold differential and cross ventilation mode buttons for at least three seconds to save the setting. Once you have enabled the reference airflow rate parameter, you can adjust any time duration settings by pressing and holding the differential mode and cross ventilation mode buttons simultaneously for five seconds. You can then use the up and down fan speed buttons to adjust the length of time the reference airflow rate parameter will run for. Once you've selected the correct length of time, press and hold simultaneously the differential mode and cross ventilation mode buttons for three seconds. This concludes our VLR70L Trend EU webinar. If you have any further questions or would like some more information, please feel free to contact your specification manager or our technical team.